There's people that got lost in uh, yeah. Atari games. Well, and, uh, yeah, and and and, Pac -Man. and so they and Pac Man so, ate up a lot of time. What do yeah, you think? Porn, yeah, and, VR well, and I think do? people that play a lot of games, they that's their social interaction. Games, yes. okay, it's games. Yeah, and they really it, and that's the way they approach the world, and so I think they have. And I'm just making assumptions here. I think a lot of times, especially kids that are grow up in that kind of world, they don't develop the kind of social skills that you would need. So these are, you know, this VR kind of porn kind of stuff is gonna is gonna retard relationship skills. Leave your wet dreams at the door. It's time for Carl and Mike. Whoa. Welcome, welcome, yeah, okay, welcome to Carl Mike, now that I, I like screwed that up, you could well, edit that well, out, you, okay? Well, you could. I'm sorry. Are you still Carl? Let's start again. <laughs> welcome to Carl Mike, I'm Carl. I'm Mike. And we're here at the Corner Bakery Cafe in beautiful downtown Dallas. I'm not downtown. No. This is what passes for There's downtown. There's no downtown. Out in, oh, there is There's downtown. a downtown, but. You just happen to live out in North Dallas where there is no downtown. Where the beautiful have people live, centers. Michael. Beautiful people, you know. and people with good, fine, Baptist-loving, Methodist, walking, Presbyterian thinking, thinking, <laughs> evangelical leaning, other haters. Oh, oh yes, other haters. <laughs> there's so many different kinds title, of haters. There's a title right there. Yeah, other haters. <laughs> have you seen Samantha B? I haven't watched her, but I've seen some of the stuff. Her new show? Yeah. Really? Is it good? Yeah, the, hair to, the hair to John Stewart. Oh, really? I think so. She, she the only promise is once more a More so than Oliver? Or Oliver just Oliver's a different format? Oliver's developed a new format. Yeah. He's developed in-depth like journalism. I like his. his. 18 minute, uh, he yeah. 18, in 18 minutes dissembled the wall last yes. week. Oh, I saw that. That was <sighs> awesome. He's doing the journalism that we're supposed to get from our media. Yeah. It's just really... Highlights the difference. So Even we, MSNBC. So we have to get thoughtful journalism from comedians now. That is correct. <laughs> On HBO, <laughs> who have no advertisers to worry about. That is our. What is he? Is our he that? is our become our Edward Murrow? Is John Oliver right now? Oh. And Samantha B is our Walter Cronkite. Our Samantha B. Yeah, our Samantha B. She's. Uh, and she, you know what I like about her? She's uh, taking on the women. She's she's owning it. Yeah. You know, she's not trying to be just one of the boys. I mean, yeah. she's keeping that front and center. I like. That. Oh, that's good. But she did a. Th there's a thing where they followed a guy at the the C CPAC thing. You know, the conservative who la la. I missed that this year. I was going to go again, but you, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, the guy that went and the one that they followed had a booth there, and he was an uh, atheist. <laughs> He was an atheist, he, and he had a yeah. booth. At oh the, yeah, he's he, radical. He's like, he's out to change the world. Uh -huh. He's got passion, uh -huh. so he's got sign. You know, 56 million Americans are non-religious. He's trying to get the conservatives to like spread their wings, mm -hmm. if you will. The only interests that he seemed to gather were from uh, young conservatives. There's definitely, really? a, a, there's definitely a generational change there. Even the young conservatives, which gives me a little bit of hope are more inclusive. They're inclu well, what, 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 makes, are what makes them conservative? See, th th that is a word that is it's become like a catch-all. I mean, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's like white supremacists call right. themselves conservatives. Right. You know, evangelicals call themselves conservatives. My mother calls herself a conservative, yet she's all for abortion. And so the so-called conservatives would say, oh, not over here. you got to go over there. Right. Well, there's, there's one group of conservatives that is trying to bring the, the term down to its narrowest possibility, which is really just an exclusionary thing, you know. So they're against, they're against, they're the against conservatives. They're against the gays. They're against the Kenyan. They're against, against, they have no, they have no plan of action themselves. They're the they're anti conservatives just, Yeah. They're the, they're just against anything that's not in their narrow defined thing. Yeah. You know, I think the younger, uh, I think the traditional Buckley, conservative, you know. I used to watch that guy. Yeah? 
Oh yeah, I would watch yeah. him. He on was always TV. fascinating to watch. Yeah, he was. Fan, I, I like his body language yeah. I, and the way he would the lean way he back. Would talk. And, yeah, and the way he would talk. Yeah, he kind of all of a sudden break into a little bit of a smile. And yeah, kind of going, oh man, this yeah. guy's good. Yeah, he was good. And he wouldn't. He was. That's just him. He yeah, wasn't playing somebody him. on TV. That was him. Yeah, there's a great documentary about him with his big fight with. Uh, What's the famous author? Gore Vidal. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. watch that. I watched that. It was great. It seems like I've seen part of that where they're duking it out. They're duking well, verbally. ABC to get ratings because ABC was the know nothing network at the time and there was a convention. So they had this bright idea to bring Gore Vidal and, and him in and to kind of debate. And these guys truly hated each other. Word wrestling. Uh, yeah, and they were both, you know, intellectuals in their mm -hmm. sphere. Uh, it's quite fascinating. The Did they have some good insults to hurl back and forth? Oh to yeah, each other? there was oh. a point where uh, Buckley wanted to, Buckley lost it. Oh, he did. Yeah, which is something he always regretted. I think. See that that's well. See that's the kind of thing when you put two of them against there. Mm -hmm. Really, what it is is just a build up of tension until one of them loses their shit. Yes. So you're kind, you're you watching this, watching the tension build, waiting to see who's yeah. going to lose their shit first. That'd been Buckley. <laughs> Uh, I'll suck you in the mouth or something like that. <laughs> and then he goes, I win. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, oh, they went to, yeah, you know, I won't, just watch it. Yeah, it's, it's one of those HBO it documentaries. It's only like an hour. Yeah. Just 70 minutes long, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think there's all sorts of people claiming to be conservative. You know, it used to be conservative was the lower government. Mm hmm. You know, but now it's like, to me, conservative these days so you got two groups you got the against everything and you've got you've got the except guns you've got the beholden to lobbyists of big corporations and and so they're against government because they the lobbyists want to do things their own way the, so which is just, the big business wants they're to just do would you say that they're just kind of flying under the radar on the conservative flag they're just kind of using the conservative flag as cover to to do their business agenda but the guys you hire to, you, and they literally are hiring them these days with the way the money is and the gerrymandering. Yeah. Uh, is hire the guys that really believe it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Mitch McConnell or whoever over there sits down after work and goes, oh, yeah, this is all bullshit. I think there's true believers. Mitch McConnell, I'm sorry. Somebody that age, male. He's a little racist, gross. He's oh. a racist son of a bitch. Yes. Yes, and I don't know why we don't call it on it. You know, this wasn't. A, this isn't about. A, this is about Obama. Yeah. This isn't about. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's yeah. it's just a straight up. Bill Clinton's if Bill Clinton's president. Mitch McConnell doesn't pull half the shit he pulls. No. Do you, I, I mean I'm sorry, but he doesn't. That's that's old Kentucky racism 101 right yeah. there. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how this stuff changes when. The black guys not in the White House. Yeah, well, I don't know. What's the next thing to a black guy would be a Clinton? Hillary does have the ability, for some reason, to make them go batshit fucking crazy. At first, I thought it was just because she was a woman, but I, I don't understand. I don't know I don't if they're know. still pissed about Bill Clinton getting a blowjob in the Oval Office, and they felt like that was disgusting. Because they were after the Clintons from day one. I think actually this thing that happened with Obama really started with Bill Clinton. It could be. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day who's a friend of ours, and she was saying, well, I just, I, I, I could never vote for Hillary Clinton. I just think she's a liar. You know, right. she's she's right. a she's a liar, and I've heard people say she's a murderer, and I said, and yeah, my, thing, murder, my, like my thing is, okay, if she's a liar and a murderer, and these people know that she is, and they've got proof, right. take her to court, convict her. It's the right wing the, the, talk radio the, bubble but, machine. But they don't they don't have it. No. They're trying to falsely manufacture something they don't have and in the process they're spinning up the crazies. It doesn't Weird take not, a lot they? to spin up the crazies. No. It I don't get really the, doesn't. I don't get the fascination with playing to the base as the Republicans do so much. Where they where's this base gonna go exactly? Why don't you just take them as a as a you know you're going to come along with us because the other option is Hillary Clinton, and we're going to try to expand the party. Well, the other thing is don't play to the base, but I think what they need to do when David Duke yeah. comes out, are there a bunch of Klan people? Yeah. 
are, is there a huge number of them that it's going to swing the race in one way or the other? No. A righteous person would stand up and said, today I've had somebody named David Duke say right. that he wants to support me and he's trying to get his people to support me. I want you to know who David Duke is and these people that he's talking about. They're KKK. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Everything they stand for is completely, what's the word, uh, math and uh, math, uh, what's, uh, what's and, it? Yeah. See, I'm not going to get points get because three, I, I not get gonna, points I, because I, I can't. Blank, now you made me blank the word. Yeah, okay, well, anyway. Anthenum, anthenum, uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, yes, I know what the word is. No, we're no, both going to get better. negative points, okay. So anyway, uh, I completely disagree with everything these people stand for, and I do not want their vote. I'm telling you, I do not want your vote. Don't expect that you're going to get any cooperation from me on anything that you believe in, period. Right. Next question. And you know what? Everybody would go, yeah. finally, somebody's a, somebody's yeah. the leader. And, and they would just go completely, I think most people would go, finally. But yeah, they don't. I think there's a real big path for someone to be, be a sensible conservative. Mm -hmm. um, I think that word's got the stink on it now. I don't think you can you can put any kind of modifier on that word now, but I think it's got the stink on it. Yeah. So the Republicans would argue if they were listening in on this conversation that John Kasich ain't going anywhere. He's more reasonable. Actually, he is going somewhere, well, and it's not where he wants to go or where they would like for him to go. He's just going to kind of go off into... But he's saying, in other words, you can't win as a Republican with that mentality. I don't think you can, I think I think the word Republican, I think the it's word stubborn have, have got, got a stink on it. And once you get the stink on it like that, you can't you can't clean that shit up. So what do you think happens? Republicans go the way of the Whigs and there's a new party name? Uh, yeah, probably. Is it called the Tea Party? They can try that, but I think that's got some stink on it too. So they just go with a new name. The crazies are gonna break off. It's kind of like a uh, an iceberg. That part of it's just gonna calve off and float away. And they're going to be pissed off, and they're going to go at, go to their homes in the woods in East Texas or, you know, West After Virginia or wherever, beaten. and just, you know, whine about shit and shoot wild boars with their automatic weapons. Do we still have wild boars? Oh, yeah. And so, they're, you know, they're just going to go off and be pissed off. When, when Obama so said words, whatever he said about living in the woods, yeah. with, clinging to their yeah. guns and Bibles, that he was. was dead fucking on. He really got was, hammered on he? that, but he was dead fucking on. That's Trump has brought them all out of the woods. No, he's given them cover. Okay. His arrogance and his willingness to say anything in front of the camera, which is just Trump, that's just yeah, the that's stupidity just, that is Trump, right. uh, has given them all cover. I don't have to be PC anymore. So it's given them cover to come out and do whatever the fuck they want to do and say whatever they want to say right. and act however they want to act. And that's what why you're starting to see all this anger begets the violence. And the violence is going to beget somebody really getting hurt or killed. And where it goes from that, I have there's no clue. I don't know. Yeah. Then, then you got to break out the police, and then the feds, and then that shows the federal government's trying to clamp down on them. Everybody and gets it's a Everybody manifests Yes, they get vision. what. Yes, because yes. that's what happens. Yes, that's how that shit yes. works. That's yeah. You believe is. it enough. It strong is the, enough. That is the way that shit works. It. Yeah, absolutely. You get what you're looking for. Yeah. If you're looking for black helicopters, they're coming. Yeah, you you can create the conditions, mm -hmm. and especially when you get a bunch of people looking for the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the danger of the thing. I mean, Trump is a a manifestation of a lot of a lot of years of hate radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, does this mean that at some point people are going to wake up and go, we need to get rid of this hate radio? Rush Limbaugh is going to be pushed you out know, of my the ocean? Worry I don't is, know. My worry uh, you know, NBC on uh, the Brussels thing, um, you know, the Brussels event yeah. with this is yeah. the terrorism in Brussels. Oh, you know, that. NBC, <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> That's a whole nother fish. That's going to be yeah. a mess in Europe. I'm yeah. sorry, but oh, it yeah. is. Um, you know, NBC was on there talking, uh, you know, they're talking about things not that long ago that we were appalled at around torture. You know, they're asking the candidates kind of, what kind of torture 20, 20, do you 20, like? 24 hour, you know, the TV, remember the TV show 24? They're not asking those kinds of questions. 
so we've got this guy in Brussels now. What would you, you know, how far would you torture him? I mean, it's really kind of disgusting what they're doing. That's mainstream media is kind of egging it on in a way. Well, it's just to see how far they would go. I see here's an interesting connection. It's mainstream media and people who are willing to say anything. It's a marriage made in heaven. And the shows that we've seen, like yeah, 24, 24, and I don't know how many it's others. A stew. It's, it's a shit yeah, stew. It, it is a shit stew. Really, it is. Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> You're we could use that. that uh, well, well, shit it, storms are coming. Huh? Now yeah. you want to do shit, shit stew? stew? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Uh, well, it is. You're right, because it's, so in other words, once it gets injected into the mainstream. Into your mind. It, then, then, then it's kind of like the media is kind of like, okay, well, we can go down this road now. Yeah. So Trump has opened up all sorts of roads to go down. See, all that stuff, continue. the media and the leading questions, yeah. the 24 and the stuff that we watch like that, yeah. and Trump, all that shit's licking at our little lizard brain. Yeah. It used to be a lick, and now I think it's a... <laughs> It's a slurp. It's a slurping. It's a the lizard slurping. brain. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to put actually Cruz on this one because that little mother Cruz, the more evil one, mm-hmm. if that's possible. Oh, no, it is. Because Trump is more just narcissistic and racist. Mm-hmm. Cruz is, Cruz is, ultimate, is literally evil because he knows better. So he did, you know, to get in Utah. Mm-hmm. To get over that 50%, because if you get the 50%, you got all the delegates. Mm-hmm. So Cruz was worried about not getting the 50. So he did the little, he went there. He took yeah. the little Mrs. Trump with nothing on. Nothing on. Yeah. And basically said, Is this a welcome to your new first lady if you go Trump with? Basically. Yeah. And of course, that's going to play well in Utah. Yeah. Which, which I think is hilarious because Utah, and we've talked about this before, folks, just right. in case you don't, don't know. There's more porn searches in Utah yeah. than any other state. I'm sure Mrs. Trump. Now, got, why is that? I'm sure Mrs. Trump got checked out quite a bit. Oh yeah. But I mean, he went there, you know, and I was kind of surprised actually. It took this it took long. This long. <laughs> That's the sad, really sad <laughs> thing. Really, it took to Utah to get there. But he went there, and Cruz went there, you know. And Trump thing. He's a there. religious guy, isn't yeah, Cruz yeah. a religious guy? So he just he just used sex and fear together. Mm-hmm. What a powerful little thing. Oh, that's thing. a nice, nice. combo. Is nice. this how you want America represented? Yeah, is this is, how is, you want America's first lady with her little tits out? Everybody can see him across the country. Yeah. Nice one, Cruz. More to come. Yeah. <laughs> so now now wives are open game Free, here. Well, and his wife is, is working for Wall Street. Yeah. So let's. So that's so, what Trump's, so that's what Trump, that's what yeah. Trump's saying. The Wall Street, say, surprise, yeah. surprise. Yeah, she's the Lehman Brothers, right? It, well, Lehman Brothers, Goldman Sachs, I don't know, one of those. You, you can't know, get bigger than that, that, can no, you? No, no, that's pretty much them. She's on a leave of absence currently. Oh, yes, yes. Meaning that she does plan on going back. Oh. Or well, she, I, is on I the, think she, is, she is on the leash. Maybe America gets what they deserve, but maybe they need to have. It would be honest if America had Lehman Brothers as the vice president. They've already got him as secretary of treasury. You might as well just go in and be honest about it. That's our representation, isn't it? The more and more. Ooh. Ooh. A lizard brain slurping <laughs> a lizard brain. fundamentalist Christian whose <laughs> wife works for Wall Street. Yes. It's the <gasps> and oh. irony of irony, running as the outsider. <laughs> How can you run as the outsider? Because he Your said he is. Your wife works at Lehman Brothers. See, yeah. that's the thing. He just said he is. You said the guy he gets was in front, gets for up on stage in front of a microphone and says he is, and people who are brain-dead fucking stupid believe it because he's on a stage with lights and cameras on him, and he says it, and they think that's true. So, what is it about the magic of that that makes people believe shit? Because people don't think for themselves. I know, but why would you think just because somebody's got the lights on them and the cameras on them and they're standing up on a stage and they're on TV that anything that comes out of their mouth is true? Can well, you imagine somebody you with, the, with the viciousness of Hitler in today's media market? I think we're, we're closer to that than we realize. Yeah, oh, I, that, maybe so. I hope not, but yeah, maybe so. You don't think of Trump? If Trump was if oh, yeah, Trump no, was spewing no, 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 hey no. the yeah. the Jews took all your money. Well, it mean if Trump said the Cruz Jews were, wants to monitor the Muslim yeah, yeah, yeah. neighborhoods, right. you know. Yes. So if Trump said the Jews were taking all your money, 
and this crisis got all happened. Oh, the redneck cracker son of bitches. Yeah, they've been doing that a long but time. He's saying what I'm thinking. You don't think America, would, you don't think he'd have that message would not did resonate? You see, did you see him give his speech in front of uh, J-PAC? C-PAC. C- is that CPAC? Is that Who, the Jewish group? Are you talking group? about Cruz or Trump? Is it, no, the Jewish group. Oh, is the that, Jewish group. No, yeah. that's yeah, a Did you pack. see those? There's a lot of PACs. Yeah, there's no, a lot of PACs. Anyway, Trump read off a teleprompter. He had a speech that he was really? reading. And he hit all the things. Trump read from they the teleprompter? They were on their feet clapping for him. Get out. Trump does that mean tele- everybody was? How does Trump it? look like reading from a teleprompter? Like everybody else reading from a teleprompter. You know, it's, so it was good. It was it was different from him because he didn't talk about how great his stakes are, or the size of his Johnson, or anything like that. You know, but it. Uh, so is the Republican Party going to get around him now and say you need to start talking teleprompter shit? And I try to- uh, yeah, here, here, read this. I don't know. Yeah, the establishment. Why don't you read just a little bit of this? You know, we know you're not an well, establishment guy. That was what guy we said guy. about Reagan, right? Yeah, we, Reagan no. was a actor playing yeah. the role of. And W. W. Yeah, he was howdy doody, man. That was just all W was was a was a uh, nice guy, Ted Cruz. Nice, no, Ted Cruz is actually smart and evil. He's smart enough to know that you can't do some of the stuff that you legally okay. can't do stuff that he's proposing. That's the that's what makes him so dangerous. He clerked for Supreme Court justices. He has a uh, Ivy League education. He knows he ain't stupid. Isn't that establishment? That's established. Went to them uppity schools. He did. I, I, I don't believe it's amazing he gets they get away with that. He didn't but graduate right. from a junior college. No. <laughs> he didn't major in um, woodworking. No. No. He uh, he's establishment establishment can get. But he loves the carpenter. Yes, he loves. He the loves carpenter. the carpenter. His point is, you know, I'm here to put Jesus on the map. And anything I need to do that is okay because yeah. it's making it a more godly nation. Yeah. I have no doubt that Ted Cruz, and maybe this is what brings him down, is he has his hand on the Bible swearing something else than upholding the Constitution somewhere. I don't think he stands a snowball's chance in hell no. of getting well, the nomination. I think he's, he's manipulative, though. He already is stealing delegates away. And it turns out this whole delegate process is not how we actually think it is. No. Shocking. You mean there's some nefarious? Yeah. Ooh, now I get three points for that. You're nefarious. Very there's some nice. nefarious shit going on. Yeah. Nefarious shit. Yeah, it happens at the little local level. And those guys That's know That's a title. Nefarious, nefarious shit. shit. He's going to manipulate that. Well, that super delegate thing, what the hell is that? That's but that's the Democrats. That's Democrats. Side, yeah. what is, uh, but well, the Republicans have their own little thing they do. Oh, they got their own hinky okay. thing? What is it called? Own, is when they have to choose the delegates, that whole little process. Yeah. Is, is hinky and pinky and he's going so it's in. got some trap doors in there he's got data now so he'll go in and there's certain <laughs> districts if you win that he's district got data. if you win that district you get that delegate right so you get cream like in uh, georgia trump cleaned his clock mm-hmm. but Cruz is picking up a bunch of little delegates by manipulating the little system and targeting micro targeting certain delegate areas and Really? Yeah. He's, he's but you still have to vote for who you're declared for the first round, right? Oh, Carl. Yes. But who says they're all going to be? Is it going to be a secret ballot? And so you really don't have to? So Trump would go, hey, how come I'm only getting 600 and he's getting 1,500 over here? I've got this declared. Who's not voting? You go, hey, secret ballot. Can't tell you. It'll be interesting. I bet there'll be people that'll be lying. You think? And Jebra going for Teddy? Yeah, that's where we live. I saw this chart that was very disturbing to me out of like 20 democracies or whatever. We're like 18 in true democracy. Oh, really? Yeah, because we got all this bullshit. Uh, this what's manipulation it, where, of voting. Which one's it, what's number Denmark's one? Denmark's one. Oh, those Northern those Europeans in there. Yeah, they're all Socialist kind of. Got like one vote, one, one person. Oh, like really? Real votes. Oh. Yeah, we've got a system. I think we're just starting to get our heads around. That's really kind of fucked up. And you see what happened in Arizona. They cut 200 polling places down to 60. What? I guess, I guess where the, I didn't oh, hear about did, that. That's five-hour lines. Yeah. It was a debacle because the legislator cut 200 polling places down to 60. Where do you think those 60 might be? Trump's area, I guess. More Republican no. areas? Yeah. Gee, you think? It's this bullshit. Really? I yeah, didn't it caused hear five hours. Oh, you mean for the, a, so for the general election, the, it's going to be the same thing? Yeah. They're going to have just 60. The primary was already a mess. Inconvenienced. 
People had to wait five hours. A lot of people left. Couldn't wait that long. Yeah. Five hours to vote in a primary. Five hours for somebody that works hourly is a lot of money. Yeah. And why? Because they cut 200 polling places down to 60. What do you think is going to happen? Why did you do that? See, it's this gaming of the system. I think that's got to be a rallying point. It's like the Republicans are trying to cheat to win. Suppressing votes, creating these stupid uh, voting card process, making mm -hmm. voting a real pain in the ass, uh, disenfranchising, you know. It's a solution in search of a we're just problem. Not, we're just not going to make, no, it's a way to uh, suppress the vote in areas you think will, your yeah. opponents are going to have higher numbers than yeah, you are. Yeah, no, yeah. And there may be some collateral damage. That's too bad for some Republicans. But for every Republican that's inconvenienced, we've inconvenienced four Democrats, right? Well, they're, you know, they're starting to talk more and more about down ticket issues. One time I was thinking Trump's going to win, and now I'm going, yeah, I don't know. But then, you know, like this, uh, this pesky little bombing shit in uh, Every time we have a Brussels. Brussels, that more people are going to vote for Trump. I think, Could be. I think so. I think that that's that's uh, fair. Fear. Yeah, that's the bombers and fucking if, with the lizard brains. And if it's true that it's just has got a whole campaign plan for throughout the year to just do this shit in Europe all all day long, they want somebody like Trump or Cruz in there. They need a crazy in there. They're not going to get that'll a, push the buttons and because right. uh, they want the face off over in uh, where is it northern Iraq or Syria right or wherever it is. Close. Wherever the fucking book says they've got to have a face off. So I don't know. It's, Sucks. Let's talk about something happier. I have something happier to talk about. Oh, good. And it's something from Carl and Mike. Yes. From from the olden days. The olden days. You're gonna like this. Let me find this. Uh, it turns out. Oh, I have. No, I just had it here. Where did it go? Gosh darn it. Does it have something to do with Nookie? Yes, it does. <laughs> Pornhub. Pornhub is passing out the VR goggles. Oh, are they really? They are. Oh, is this something new? They're ready for the new. I was it. reading something about VR. Everybody's getting, and I read this article about it. One of the things that the people that are programming games and stuff like that yeah. are having to be careful because it's so real. It's making people sick and disoriented and right. dizzy. Right. Let me, uh, I closed the thing by accident, so let me go Pornhub here. Pornhub is handing out the I goggles. I have to read this to you. It's too delicious. It's too delicious. Huh. Well, ah, here it is. they are going to lead is. the here way. Here it is. Let me read okay. this. Okay. Hold on. I'm waiting for my little phone to... Why is our internet... We have shitty internet for a first world country. Hey, well... It's, we're starting to slip into second world territory. Can I go ahead and say yeah, that? Yeah. I'm getting sick of it, too. But we lead the world in porn. We are porn. Yeah. We're porn the porn capital. capital. Yeah. yeah. Come on, little... Come on, little... Uh, I feel like I'm on AOL. All we're missing really is beep, 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 you know. Yeah. It just took away the sounds. It's not really not that much faster. Dial up. Okay. You got, you got, let's take a look at this guy. He's got his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read you. Pornhub, the popular adult entertainment website, is promising to set orgasmic standards in porn viewing with its VR videos. The website announced on Wednesday they're going to offer 360 degree viewing experience. Uh, and invite users to experience a heightened level of audiovisual stimulation, which Pornhub is providing at no cost. At so, no cost? Oh yeah. Come, it's the taste. So Get a give, taste. You, it's, the you, it's the drug they'll send analogy. The, oh, yeah. You're you you the taste. first one's free. First heroin Here, shot. Check this out and see what you think about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, really? You like first, it? Here's your first you know, acid it. tab is Can free. Yeah. yeah, it's just yeah. 10 cents. <laughs> exactly. So they're going free here. Put on these glasses because we know what's going to happen. <gasps> you know what they're going to wind up doing? They're going to wind up doing, doing like the cable TV thing. That somehow Pornhub is going to be one of these things that's charging you nineteen ninety five a month. And it's just put on the goggles and yeah. go to town. Different channels of VR, you know, porn, you know, whatever. So VR is like they're right there in three yeah, dimensions. There'll be a whole there'll be a whole VR channel through Pornhub. Pornhub will be the Time Warner of whatever, and they'll have their own channels. There'll be a whole channel for chicken fuckers, <laughs> which you know is just wrong. So you're chasing around after the chicken yeah. to try to catch it. Yeah, is there a group of people in there? <laughs> oh, I don't know. If society, I don't know. Right for chicken fuckers. It can handle VR porn. People won't go to work. 
<laughs> you know, we're talking about this. You're, you're, you're getting, there'll be all these people that, in, um, unfortunately, it's probably going to be mostly men, that people, you know, will uh, they live by themselves, that they find them three or four days later because they were smelling bad, and, <laughs> and they're cranked back in their lazy boy recliner, and they got these cardboard goggles on. <laughs> It's gonna be awful. You really don't want to. You really don't want to see uh, Uncle Harry that way, do you? No. You don't walk in on no. the naked Uncle Harry. <laughs> no. <laughs> with, his, oh, with, his, <laughs> with his. Now, do you get? Here's the question I have, because I don't know the answer to this. Yes. When rigor mortis sets in. Yeah. How does that deal with the penile instrument? How do you say so you're saying does the knob stay stiff or is it yeah. kind of turtle? Yeah. I'm thinking rigor mortis. Wouldn't it? Depends on how quickly you die. If it's like, <laughs> I think a rigor mortis doesn't make everything hard. Yeah, but if you don't have a wood row when you die, but you got one in your hand, and now rigor mortis sets it could, in. It could <laughs> be. It could look like a deflated balloon in your hand. I don't know. I'm oh, thinking it's gonna be a rock hard rigor, rigor mortis. That would be a bad way to see Uncle Harry oh, laid out man. with a VR goggles, naked mm -hmm. and uh, with his dick oh, in his twisted hand. Twisted Uncle Harry. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, I think you may be right. There's people that got lost in uh, yeah. Atari games. Well, and uh, yeah, and and and, Pac -Man. and so they and Pac-Man so, ate up a lot of time. What yeah, do you think? Porn, yeah, and, VR well, and I think do? people that play a lot of games, they that's their social interaction. Games, yes. okay, it's games. Yeah, and they really it, and that's the way they approach the world. And so I think they have, and I'm just making assumptions here. I think a lot of times. Especially kids that are grow up in that kind of world, they don't develop the kind of social skills that you would need. So these are, you know, this VR kind of porn kind of stuff is gonna is gonna retard relationship skills. Yeah, because this can you imagine sixteen VR porn no. at your fingertips? Yeah. Sorry to and say. And then some. Yeah. yeah. Woo. I think uh, I think we're going to have a new thing called masturbation addiction. What is this something that they're releasing now? Oh, these yeah, it's it's, baby, it's 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 well, you know, I got those. I got those. Uh, now it's you know, we, Wednesday. We do on wait in partnership with Badoink <laughs> VR. <laughs> Badoink. Can't make that stuff up. <laughs> you can't make that no. up. You know, there are copywriters I, that make that shit. I love up. that. They had a meeting. You Badoink. Know. Somebody had a meeting somewhere. What about Badoink? <laughs> Yeah, what about Bedoin? Oh, love, oh it. love it. It's almost a not. What is that? Onomatopoeia? Yeah. Bedoin. Bedoin. Uh, um, that could be our title, too. Bedoin. God. You know, that's just bizarre. Because, you know, it wasn't just a few months ago that I got those cardboard glasses in the Sunday New York right, Times. Right, right. And the New that York Times. That wasn't a real VR, VR VR experience. Oh yeah. It was. Oh yeah. With a piece of cardboard. Oh yeah. You had the well. It's a piece of cardboard, and you fold it up to where it's goggles. You put yeah, it on. Yeah, I got that. But and you look at the and you they put could your, do they could you do put it your, that cheap. Yes, you put your phone in the goggles, oh. and then and then you turn on the deal, and you're doing like this, and everywhere you look, it's a 360. There's somebody that's talking to you, or, or so that multiple you went to a certain people page that they huh? had set up for that a certain page on your phone or anything on your phone. It, no, it's it's a file on your phone. It's not a page. It's a oh. video, and oh. it's a 360 video. So no matter where you're looking, you look at the grass, look at the sky, look at the people behind you that are talking. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's it's. So imagine that in a point I setting. I have You're just standing there in an orgy. No. So it's it's because uh, uh, I don't. I haven't looked at it lately. Here it is. NYT VR, and it had a, a number of videos, and you can look at them without the glasses. But why? Yeah. But you can you can get that. That's amazing. No, yeah. it's it's incredible. You know, that's still just interacting with your eyes. But you know, if you if you had a VR where you could learn how to drive, which you wouldn't need to because it's going to be driving those cars. But definitely fly an airplane, fly a battle plane. Yeah. All right, fly a jet. Yeah, so basically you have you have an instructor, an online instructor, yeah. telling you how to fly the 747, and, oh, you want to steer it this way into right, that building. Right, right. This is yeah. what you do. Basically. This is how you do it. I think you're going to get... You're going to get first-class training on shit, like on how to fly a plane without even flying a plane. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's just and uh, I can imagine a bunch of other things too. yeah because it's something when you're engaging more of your senses yeah. I think the learning happens well and that's quicker. why the, well yes and and you get that sensation that's what they were saying on games you know imagine uh, your body's reacting to what you're seeing right. the, the stimulus you're getting through your eyes is what's making you sick it's, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty cool and pretty weird and we're on a whole new place. Virtual reality porn and uh, ISIS bombers and Donald Trump. It's all in an episode. It's a of triple Carl threat. <laughs> 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 yes, that's only you only get that here, Carl Mike. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that on MSNBC. Yeah. Don't look anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. what's the point? <laughs> so do go to carlmike.net. Yeah, we have it all there. Yes, and including our mighty fine show notes, which will somehow make sense. You know, I I, I forgot episode. to tell you this. Uh, I had somebody that that uh, listens to us yeah. periodically, yeah. actually listens to wow. it and made a comment, said they really like the Mighty Fine show notes. And to, and to just keep doing that, and, and it's the links, I think, that he likes, links, too. Yeah. yeah, the links are a lot. Because this guy, uh, Keith, really likes to drill down and know more. And right. it's uh, and so he was saying, you know, he likes that. So Great. Any, any of that kind of stuff we do, and we do it wherever we can. Yes, we'll do links to uh, we'll do links to Pornhub. Pornhub, yes, yes. and uh, New York Times VR. Yeah. And you know, I think you can probably get VR goggles anywhere. But this one held your phone, and that was the part that was kind of cool. It was it actually designed to like slip your phone into. Yeah, I, I I would like to try that. Yeah, that would be. I haven't had a VR experience. I haven't had a VR. <laughs> It's uh, V8 VR. Yeah, right? VR. Uh, it it was pretty interesting, you know, because you're you're. And I'm sure that's a poor man's VR. Oh right? yeah. So no. the the real high, highfalutin VR. Yeah. Going to be uh, pretty hip, snippy, snappy, hippy hoppy. Well, yeah, and the Pornhub, some they're going to have to have some sort of mechanical device that hooks your you hook your root into. You that'll know. be coming. That'll be Bedoink two. Yeah, Bedoink point two. <laughs> First you get the goggles, then you get the. But Doink's going to sell the hardware. I think you sign up with Dyson and do a kind of a... Yeah, it's a device thing. You get yeah. a new device every month. Yeah. Part of the deal. Hey, <laughs> this is thought leadership. Thought leadership. Oh, so instead of like wine of the month... Wine of the month. It's device, device of the month. device of the month? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, like it's all, and it comes with, uh, you know, the, their VR things that you download. So you get, so you get uh, this month's select title. Yeah. VR title is, you know... Um, you know, chickens, and and then you get a little leather yeah. thing in the mail yeah. as your device. Yeah. Do let me know when that issue comes out. <laughs> God. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just going to be bad news. Well, if we survive <laughs> Trump, it'll be the VR porn that'll get yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, we will have to have that just so we don't have to listen to the horseshit. Yeah. If Trump is president, I'll be on the VR porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you have it. If you got any questions for Carl Mike, send them to carlmike.net. We yes. got a little contact us page there. Yep. Send your comments. Peace out. Peace.